Monsito Mansion's new owner spills that Sussex is broken up and no longer lives here. Property open for rent Harry and Meghan's new Monsito Mansion can be rented out for $700 an hour. The rental website Gigstar offers up the Duke and Duchess's home as the backdrop for photo shoots, music videos, or other engagements, and can accommodate a crew of 15 people in a private parking for 50. It appears the listing was first posted before the ex-royals bought the home for $14.7 million, but it revealed never before seeing photos of the interior before the couple moved in with baby Archie. The mansion is listed as an Italian villa and can be rented for a minimum of 10 hours, according to the listing. There's no smoking, no pets, no cooking, and no alcohol allowed, and adult filming is banned. The Italian-style villa has impressive archways and greenery all around. Surrounded by lush green gardens and overlooking the sea, the home has been described as a hidden paradise. One estate agent who spent an hour inside said it was designed for someone who never wants to leave home. After the couple moved here, the source said the photography rental service has been completely closed. The couple, who require absolute privacy, will of course not let any strangers in this area. However, the latest source says a portal to rent the olive garden of the couple is reopened. This makes the rumor that the two have had a disagreement and both left this villa in Monsito true. What is interesting about this is that she states that she's got to the payment stage of renting the olive garden. This doesn't make sense as the Meghan and Harry documentary was filmed on someone else's property. The rumor is that Meghan now stays in Beverly Hills and Harry stays in West Hollywood. Harry's been staying at the very exclusive members' only San Vicente bungalows. That's been his bolt hole for a while now. Take meetings without Meghan during the late stages of the pandemic and allegedly now keeps a bungalow there for himself. He's been legitimately papped. Megan accompanied him once right around the time of Little Bits christening and Princess Nighting by People magazine. That's when she was doing her cat, who ate the canary victory laps through West Hollywood. Megan Markle allegedly enjoys living at the five-star Beverly Hills Hotel, as opposed to a nine-bedroom palatial home, a reporting Closer magazine said. Megan secretly booked a conference room at the five-star Beverly Hills Hotel, known to locals as the Pink Palace, with the home large enough to host most of her meetings. The Duchess of Sussex is said to prefer to frequent the opulent hotel, which was favored by the likes of Frank Sinatra and the Rat Pack in the 50s. His crumbling relationship with his dreadful wife, Megan, is so untenable that Harry can't bear to be under the same roof as an even when that roof extends around 14,500 square feet and encompasses 16 bathrooms within which to lock oneself and have a quiet cry. Harry and Meghan's spokesperson swiftly deny these claims, but it didn't stop other outlets from pouncing on the story noted on time. Megan commentator Dan Wheaton ran an entire segment on his GB News show about it, observing they just don't ever seem happy together, and predicting the end of their marriage within a few years. It's the beginning of the end, added one of his panelists. This is the latest of many stories we've heard about the supposed decline of Meghan and Harry's relationship in just the past few weeks. Several narratives purported to reveal cracks in the marriage Megan swerving a kiss from Harry when they were put on the kiss cam at the NBA game.